Yeah, no, it's just the one tippy fence post. I'm not going to replace the whole thing. Who does that Debbie think she is anyway? No, I know, I know that she's the head of the HOA. I don't care. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fix her little red wagon and... Oh, you know what, Mary Ellen? We're gonna be filming the video in just a bit. Do you mind if I call you back? Oh, four o'clock, poolside? It's a date, babe. <coughs> All right, Ernest, are you ready? If you're anything like me, you're dead. But even if you're not, dead skin buildup can be a real problem. Hi, I'm Alex Pearl, the haunted housewife. And on today's program, we're going to learn how to whip up a batch of my famous Thrifty Ghoul Skin Scrub. Some of the living think that exfoliating has to be extreme in order to be effective. Ah! Oh, thank goodness that isn't true. My Thrifty Ghoul Skin Scrub works beautifully. I've been using it for over 60 years, and I'm gorgeous! So you know it works. All we need to make some are things you probably have around your own home. So let's hop on into the kitchen and see what we'll need. Come on! First, we'll need a waterproof plastic container, one that can hold about two or three cups. Next, we'll need the powdered bones of a hanged man. <laughs> you know, I have heard that a hung man's bone can be hard to find these days. Personally, I've always got one tucked away, but if you don't live near a ghost town, an old gallows, or Texas, you can always substitute with some baking soda. Lastly, we'll need some granulated sugar. Now that we have everything we'll need, we'll use our plastic container or a measuring cup to measure out five parts bone powder or baking soda to each one part granulated sugar. We'll make sure to leave the top third of the container empty. Why is that? Because in our next step, we're going to seal the lid and we'll shake it up real good. Ah, oh, that's invigorating. Ah, oh, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Oh my! To use our scrub mix, first you'll wet your face. Next, you'll pour a small pile of the scrub mix into the palm of your hand. It should be about an inch or so across. Next, you'll take a few drops of water and add them to the pile. Then mix it with your fingertips until it's about the consistency of toothpaste. Paste. Now that your mix is all set and ready to go, you'll spread it evenly across your face, avoiding the eye area. You'll gently rub with your fingertips in circular motions for about 30 seconds to a minute. Next, you'll rinse off thoroughly. I prefer to rinse off in the shower. Finally, you'll pat dry gently with a facial towel. After you pat dry, you can use a small amount of moisturizer if you wish. Your skin will look positively radiant. You'll be ready to emerge from your crypt and start your day. I use this simple, affordable skin scrub each morning to clear away excess dead skin and to prevent breakouts. For those of you living folks, I recommend starting slowly, once every two or three days to avoid exfoliating too aggressively. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've had a wonderful time. Please click like, subscribe to my Instagram page and the YouTube channel, 
and I absolutely love it when you leave me fan mail in the comment section below. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to cast a curse on the head of our HOA. Where on earth did I leave that eye of Newt?